hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is michelle and before we get started with the tutorial i would like you guys to take the time out if you have it to like comment and subscribe to this channel you did it okay let's get started here you can see me just rubbing this white stuff on her face this is the black radiance true complexion shine control primer I filled in her eyebrows and I based her eyelids off camera. In this tutorial, I'll mostly be using the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette. And right now I'm taking Consume and just blending that into the crease. And this is going to be our transition shade. Next, I'm taking Flame Game and doing the exact same thing. So this look was going to be a halo eye, but then I eventually was just like, nah, I'd rather do a blowout. I'm using Red Alert and I'm packing that onto the eyelids. To do that, I'm using a flat, fluffy eyeshadow brush. Be sure to use a tapping motion when applying this color. Once you have majority of the color on the lid, you want to go ahead and you want to use circular motions to blend out the edges of that color. Blendation of all the colors is what's giving it this pretty gradient look. So you guys, my camera cut off in the middle of filming. At the end of the video, I have went back in with Unstoppable and packed that onto the lid. By now, you guys should know I love a contour, honey. You know I love being extra. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. I be too focused on the contour that sometimes I actually forget to do the foundation. So I went in while I still had time to and I'm using the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup in the shade Bisque. So back to the contour, I'm still using LA Girl Pro Concealers and this one is in Fawn. I went in with a teensy bit of natural only to make this highlight pop. For the contour shade, I'm going in with Beautifully Bronzed. Beautifully Bronzed is not a dark color for her. It is enough to snatch her cheekbones, get rid of the jawline and minimize her forehead. I learned this tip from Jackie Ina. Spraying the setting spray as normal and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just pat that into the skin. These lashes are from the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection and I'm using Gala. Taking some black gel liner and just going over the lash band so it doesn't look as noticeable. So I did a thing you guys. So I took the Nana Coco Eye Elusive Eyeshadow Pencil. It's kind of similar to NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil and I put it in her waterline and I put Unstoppable on top. I was just hoping that it was going to look right with the eyeshadow being on top of the eyeliner. Hopefully it would adhere. And it did. I'm using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in Sundance. To set, I'm using Ben Nye's Banana Powder and just pressing that into the skin. Just snatching the jawline and I'm using the tip of my beauty blender and we're gonna let her cook for a couple of minutes here is preferably where I like to bake at only because if you allow the powder to sit the more pronounced your jawline will be I'm using the Milani rose powder blush in blossom time rose I decided to use this blush because I didn't want to take away too much from the eyes because the eyes are the star of the show. 
For the inner core and highlight, I'm taking Anastasia from the Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I was debating with myself if I was going to use Anastasia, Dragon, or Georgina. And Anastasia was kind of like a rose gold and I wanted to keep with the pinks. And I'm taking Flame Game again and I'm just going right on that lash line. This right here is Visas from the Billy Boutique palette, and I'm using this as my highlight. If you don't know, now you know. Going back in with Anastasia, I'm just adding a little highlight to the brow bone. I'm using Nika K liner, and this is in coffee. I'm using a combination of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang by Marc Jacobs and Maybelline's New Embrace on the lips. And I'm topping it off with Prissy Missy by The Balm Beauty Company. So the lip combo was already fine, but adding the lip gloss was really like, yeah. And last but not least, we're just locking all this makeup in with some sudden spray. And this right here is the final look. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.